Okay, now on to the what the fuck we're playing this week. And those games are going to be Mortal Kombat 11, a little bit more Days Gone, and some Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, so, yeah, um, back on the dating scene, as it were. I've uh, been kind of hanging out with this chick lately. And I thought, what better way to uh, sort of test uh, our relationship compatibility than to face each other in Mortal Kombat? So I <laughs> went and rented uh, Mortal Kombat 11 the other day. Uh, as you know, I'm not a fighting game fan. Don't play any of these. I think the last Mortal Kombat game I played was probably on like the PS2 or something like that. Um, but I did play Injustice 2 last year because I kept hearing for like a few years now that Nether Realms, uh, the makers of Mortal Kombat and Injustice, uh, they have these really insane uh, single player story modes. And so I played Injustice 2 last year and I was kind of I was kind of blown away by how ridiculous it was. So I was kind of excited at the idea that the story mode and MK11 was going to be fucking absolutely over the top outrageous and was not disappointed whatsoever um we ended up playing through uh the story mode in its entirety <laughs> in one sitting so that was about like uh i think it came out to right at five hours uh so we played through the whole fucking thing one night and it's just absolutely hilarious like it's incredible the story mode in that is absolutely fucking incredible like it's so just ridiculous and over the top but also I just didn't really realize like how deep the sort of lore and story to Mortal Kombat was of all things. Like, it, it, I mean, it, sure, it's over the top and stupid, but it's also I don't I don't know. There's, there's like a seriousness to it in a way too. This like kind of endearing. Uh, so I don't know. It's, it's it's kind of crazy how they put these story modes together for a fighting game. As it were, I, I didn't know anyone was able to sort of do this with a fighting game. I, I mean. Story modes have always been kind of forgettable for the most part, but this man, it's just like cutscene after cutscene, the way they sort of lead into making you play different characters and stuff like that is really kind of fresh and unique. And uh, so it kind of mixes it up. And, and yeah, the, the fact that they have these like through lines and, and sort of story beats and, and things that they're hitting. I mean, it was basically like watching a five hour fucking Mortal Kombat movie. I put it right up there behind, uh, behind the first Mortal Kombat movie actually but um so yeah even after that I was like kind of like wanting more uh so thankfully they had Mortal Kombat 10 uh for free on Game Pass I'm gonna see if that story mode is as ridiculous but uh I don't know when's the last time you checked in with a Mortal Kombat franchise I've played 10 I didn't play it all the way through yet but uh like what you said it's it's interesting how they've weave story into the actual game like i don't really care about the pvp and like playing against the bots or whatever i like the story so the story mode is interesting to me but beyond the story mode i would not play a fighting game but they they've done a great yeah. job uh weaving it in and like drawing you in you know like you play the characters that you see in the story and i don't know it's just it's neat what they've done and i don't know if they i think they did that with nine too because they they do it with the Injustice games, and yeah, it's just fascinating. It, for someone who doesn't like fighting games, I do like how they put story into it, because I, I will play those games now. Yeah, I'm I'm totally going to pick up every fucking game they put out now, at least rent them, uh, because like I said, I'm going to go back and play Mortal Kombat 10 and maybe even pick up the first Injustice if it's like this, because it yeah, it's yeah. just out of, it's out of fucking control, and it's fucking absolutely fantastic. And so this is a nice little bite-sized game that you could get through, uh, but yeah, so we, we, we just played through the story and then we saw all the fatalities. So there's like only one fatality per character and it was kind of, I don't know, some were okay, but a lot of them were kind of disappointing. I was a little bit disappointed in that. I was hoping for more stuff like the Bay Bounties and all the other weird shit. But yeah, I mean, even, even just as someone who doesn't play fighting games, uh, I sort of like the slow paced, uh, sort of rhythm of the Mortal Kombat games. Like I was kind of getting into it a little bit more. It, it's just easier to sort of wrap your head around it because it's not as fast paced and doing all these big, huge, flashy combos. Um, so I don't know. As far as the fighting game goes, I thought it was kind of fun to play, but I just learned enough to get through the story mode. I didn't really master anything. Uh, but yeah, I highly, highly fucking recommend Mortal Kombat 11. Just rent it, red box it, whatever, play through the story mode and have a fucking blast with it. Okay. So does she check out or what? Like, fuck the game. Uh, yeah, things are, things are pretty good so far. Things are pretty good. So she's, she's a gamer. gamer so okay, that's, good. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a prerequisite at this point. I can't, <laughs> uh, 
I can't be, you know, one of the leading voices in video games and, and having one of the most popular video game podcasts in the world and be dating someone that's, you know, doesn't play video games. So, so how pretty good on, on that here? front. I don't know. You just kind of lucked into it, I guess. <laughs> okay. All right, so I played a little bit more Days Gone. I uh, still haven't got as far into it as I want to be able to really sort of give a great uh, sort of final word on it, as it were. I didn't pay attention to any of the reviews and stuff when it came out because I sort of wanted to form my own opinion. I have gone back and looked at a lot of that stuff since. Uh, it seems like, a uh, you know, it's a, it's a mixed bag, but a lot of people have sort of negative views on this game. And so far, I'm just not picking up on any of that. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying what I'm playing. So I don't know. I'll, I'll probably uh, have more to say on that next week because I think I'm going to kind of jump uh, two feet in and really put some time into it over the next week.